All right, guys, I'm going to show you the absolute best way to prepare your deer loin. It's my guarantee to you this is the best way. I know what you're thinking. Some of you guys are probably frying your deer loin. Uh, that's how I was raised. My mom always fried our deer loin. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good that way. But this is the best way. I guarantee it. It's simple, it's easy. And here's the guarantee if you can prepare better deer loin, you come to my house prepare your deer loin better than mine, then I'll let you have the claim to best deer loin. But until then, you can't have the title to best deer loin. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If you guys are frying your deer loin, you're doing an injustice. I got a buddy who actually takes his deer loin and drops her straight down the grinder. I don't know what he's doing. But I'm going to show you the best way tonight and try it out. I'm sure you will not be disappointed. All right, we got a few simple ingredients. We got our deer loin here. Um, a lot of you guys may be uh, slicing it up and then freezing it, but this I found has been an excellent way. I just cut this in half. Uh, freeze those things as big as you can. If you want to cut them later, you can, but it's a whole lot quicker when you're processing your deer. You just zip those things out, cut them in half, cut them in thirds, whatever you need to do. Wrap the freezer paper around them and then they're good for a while. This has been in the freezer for a little bit. This is a deer that I killed just over a year ago. So we got our deer loin, we got some olive oil, nothing fancy there, just a little grill made. Makes it pretty easy, it's already mixed up for you. If you got your own rub, that works great, but there's no sense in me trying to come up with something that's uh, better than that. That's going to be just for the deer meat. Then, this is the topper. We're going to make a mushroom sauce for this deer loin, and it is like icing on the cake. It makes the whole meal. We're going to get this rubbed down with oil, put our rub on there, and then we're going to put it on our grill. Grill scraped off here. <clears throat> Pretty much any time you're doing venison, you want it hot and fast. And you want to cook your venison medium rare. Once you start getting past medium rare, you drastically affect the taste of your deer meat. There's just no fat content in there. You want to keep from overcooking it as much as you possibly can. So we're gonna pop these on here. This is real simple to do, especially when you have them cut like this. You basically just burn the outside and it's gonna be nice and juicy pink on the inside. Pretty simple to do. We gotta pop these on here and we're gonna start working on the old mushroom sauce. This is a real simple sauce to make. Onion, butter, heavy whipping cream, mushrooms. Nice little mushroom sauce. This is a phenomenal sauce to put on any of your steaks, deer steak, beef steak, whatever. Really kind of just melts it all together, I think. And it's pretty easy to make. This whole recipe is pretty easy to make. That's why I think you probably should be trying it. Get the saute pan heating up there. Got our ingredients ready here. Went ahead and chopped up probably about a eight to a quarter of an onion and then just a handful of mushrooms. Get your butter melting down. Steer meat so it's healthy. You can use as much butter as you want. This cancels itself out. You're good to go there. Get that melting down. And I always like to go with the onions first just because they cook a little bit longer. And uh, we're going to try to get a nice brown on both of these. Okay. 
Had the onions going here for just about a minute or two. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these mushrooms in. And you're just looking for a nice brown on both of them, nothing too fancy. Can't really mess it up too much. Well, you can, but not really. If it looks a little dry in there, throw a little more butter in, it'll be all right. Been on about 10 minutes. That seems like maybe a long time for deer. Just gonna kind of keep an eye on it and uh, see how you want it, but we're still plenty good here. We're gonna flip it. So we'll give that a little bit longer. Uh, kind of depends on the size of your deer loin. This is a little bit bigger size deer loin. This come off a buck, would not like no monster buck or nothing, but uh, bigger than a button buck which I may or may have not killed this year, two of them, on accident. So just close the lid down, let her go. Now you can kind of really see the edges of our mushrooms and onions is kind of really getting brown. Onions have really shrunk down. This is kind of right in the zone that I like. And then uh, you're gonna go ahead and make your roux it's just flour and it's kind of I always just play that by ear heavy whipping cream I'm not going to use all of this just because uh, I think we're going to make some cream corn and we're going to use a little bit of that but I'll probably do this and some milk And then I'll just finish that off with a little bit of milk. Got a nice little boil going, just knock the heat down, stir it. You don't want your milk to burn. Just keep stirring it and that's going to thicken up as soon as it cools down. That's really thickening it up pretty good. That's going to be just right where we want it as far as consistency. Um, you can just taste this as it goes. You might want to add a little salt to it or whatever else you feel like it needs. But you're going to have a little bit of your flavor from your meat too. It's kind of like just like a complimentary type deal to your deer meat. Really kind of does the finishing touch. Alright, pulled our uh, deer loin off the grill, and uh, if you're unsure, just grab your meat thermometer. I don't know if you can read that, but that's 135. Got her plugged in there, and 135 is also your medium rare range, I believe. So, these should be cooked about perfectly how you want. And uh, you could grill these as a whole loin, where this is together, but I think it's nice if you cut it in half and you get a little bit uh, of your heat distributed evenly. So we're gonna let these sit just a little bit and then we're gonna cut them open, put that on it, and then we're gonna eat it. All right, just like I thought, cut it open and uh, that's kind of the color you want. Like I said, you can go a little bit longer on the grill and you're still gonna be all right. It's still gonna taste really good, but uh, my preference is just to get that nice medium rare and uh, that's what you're looking at there, where you kind of got that nice medium ring and then your medium rare right in the middle. That's going to be really tender and it's going to taste really good. Now, that's good stuff. I guarantee it is the best recipe for deer loin. And until someone comes to my house and makes a better recipe, I'm going to keep the title. That's the best deer loin there is. But I welcome all competition to come to my house and make me a better deer venison meal. 
and you must supply your own deer venison.